We can now windrow and bail or whatever you want to do behind it all in one go. Oh man. Hello everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 32 mods for you. For all platforms, we have 17 new and two updates. For console only, we got one update. At PC and Mac, we've got six new and six updates. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. Eureka Farms by TNT Modding, the same modder that brought us Bucks County, PA. It's an easy place to start farming on several large fields or easy planting and harvesting. There is a large central farm, which we're on top of right now, area for raising animals and even a place to put down some factory since this is usable with the placeable factory pack from Shaba. Map is seasons ready and has its own ground prep for precision farming. Please note that the pack is not compatible with seasons, so you cannot use placeable factories and seasons all at the same time. So just keep that in mind. It says thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who helped out with this and everyone who allowed him to use their mods. Speaking of mods, we got some more with this because you know TNT Modding's got some cool stuff. One thing I will tell you, before we get started looking into stuff, because this is going to take a little while, I'm actually going to do a separate video dedicated to this map. We have around custom placeables. All of these custom placeables are purchasable. So you could buy like this red shed right in the middle. Actually, all those red sheds. Uh, you could just buy like unlimited amounts of those. Yep. You could just keep buying more and 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 you're good to go. Let's take a look at the PDA real quick before we get into the custom models. That's your PDA. You start off with your main farm and field number seven. And that's about it. These are going to be quite expensive. A million dollars, a million bucks, 900, 700, 900, 1.9. It's expensive. It is very expensive. So keep in mind, you're going to want to start out a little bit in a little bit but this is going to be great for those of you that want to have big old humongous american farms i see barger farms really having some fun with us uh lunatic com a lot of those guys that like those big american style maps that are really easy to farm i think this is going to be great for you guys let's pop in because we do have some custom features for this well what do we get at least to start with? Well, you get a Case Maxim John Deere 8400R. That is nice. You got that big horsepower. You got the Case IH. You got a Stroutman uh, tipper. You've also got a smaller tipper, header, corn header, subsoiler, planter, cedar. Uh, you, get, you got, well, you got everything that you could ever want and need, don't you? Yeah, I <laughs> think you do, but you got more. In addition to everything that we've shown off in previous videos of Bucks County and in live streams, these are things that you've never seen before. We have the X-Cut 900 3 Poplar Cutter, 9 meter Poplar Cutter header that goes on for, or, um, combines, forge combines, forge combines, forge harvesters. You've got the Kuhn LSB 1290D wide pickup. This will do 4,000 liter bales at 49 miles an hour. So you go fast, make those bales quickly, 140 horsepower required, so low horsepower. <laughs> This is insane, isn't it? You've got a loading wagon that is a similar story right here. This will actually have between 250,000 and 500,000 liter capacity. Trailer Borg emission tire, standard stuff through the shoe maker right here. It also has a wide uh, pickup pattern as well, so you'll be able to do that at 24 miles per hour. All seeders and planters will now do all crops. So if you're going through, you can see here we've got wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, cover crop, grass, corn, sunflowers, potatoes, sugar beets, cotton, poplars, and even sugar cane. And it is a very, very similar story once we get into up here as well you literally have all of those same crops so regardless of what you're doing you can either use a cedar or a planter whatever you like to use do keep in mind that that does not change the ability to direct drill so that is that however you can use for example something that came with the borgo dlc perhaps direct drill at 100 feet and uh do literally anything you're good to go and lastly he's given us a wilson pace setter high capacity 50 or 500 thousand liters so 250 in the front 250 in the back you've got your main colors normal stuff through here but they've just added the capacity options for you these are not models that can be used on any other map i answer this question probably 100 times a day they cannot be used on any other map just this one and the other maps that these things have been installed on too. We have the International Transtar MT by Raleigh Christie 1. This is based off of the very popular International Transtar that we have, but 
hey, you've got a couple different options with this one. So, similar stuff, 460 horsepower, 1,210 liters of fuel, 59 miles per hour, and 45,000 liters. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, we've got a tipper, and this will do all your standard bulk crops. We have rim color, everything you would expect to see through here. We're going to drop some uh, chrome on there. Main color, well, you've got all the same colors you have from the International Transstar, which is nice. Design color, exactly the same through here. We're going to go with my favorite setup on the truck. This is my favorite color options through here. Capacity. We have container, which is 45,000 liters. We have platform. This does have straps. And we even have platform supported. So you can put multiple things on here, but generally logging or something similar to that. This will have straps as well, so you can choose whatever. And then engine setup. We have the 460 with 460 horsepower. And we have the IH Power with 550 horsepower. Next, we have something really cool. This is the MAN TGX Forest Special. This right here is, of course, a semi-trailer, or semi-truck, rather, and it's got a tandem trailer on the back. Check this out. So this is specially built for short timber. Thanks to its special tandem trailer, which is folded up and loaded onto the motor vehicle, the toll is reduced and fuel is saved. And at its place of use, it is unloaded by crane and directly coupled and unfolded. So we're going to be taking a look at that. Hopefully this is done via... Uh, I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll, we'll take a look at this. All right, so let's first off, 550 horsepower, rim color. We got them all. Legit, all of them. We're going to go with chrome because chrome's the best. Main color? Nope. Again, you've got them all right here. Uh, and then design color? Again, all and whatever this is. Hey, we've got them all. They do say that the color change for the cabin, body rims, and crane are only PC. So... Do keep that in mind. If you have it on console, hey, let me know what those are. Otherwise, just be going with the red, and that's totally fine. Uh, Sun Shield, we have black. We have the MAN red. Old green. I don't even see a Sun Shield. Oh, you have to turn it on and off. It'd be nice to have that feature beforehand so we could turn it on, but that's okay. Whatever. It is what it is. Mirror caps, default. We have chrome ones, plastic, color change. We're back to default again. And extra arts, we have nothing. Horns. We have extra mirrors, headlight protection, with all or nothing. Wheel setups, Nokia in one, Nokia in two, and back and forth. We're gonna go with Nokia in one on there. Bull bar, no, or absolutely yes, we're gonna put that on there. Um, we also have a few other things on here as well with different light options, which is pretty cool. Mud flap decals, we have nothing on the mud flap decals, at least to start with, or we could put some signs on here as well. So that is nice. Uh, you've got all kinds of stuff, <laughs> stay home play a part together we're gonna put stay home on there agent setup we have a 500 horsepower 640 horsepower even an 880 horsepower engine which is really cool and then roof bar no or yes or yes with the light gray yellow and so forth i like it let's pick up one of these let's load in let's turn on our help window so we can see kind of what's going on here let's turn it on we'll pull forward and we'll see what we could do with this so can we see we've got to detach okay so it is now detached now it is attached and it's kind of rocking back and forth a little bit okay unfold the forest trailer we'll hit that oh boy so it does not look like this is going to oh yeah look at that so this appears to be something that we actually have to take off ourselves with the crane. Oh yeah. And it's even got a little bar on there, so totally doable. Um, <laughs> well, the term good luck comes to mind. <laughs> hey, all right. So we've got that. We can't even hook it up anymore because it's out of, uh, out of place. How does this work exactly? It looks like we have a trailer hitch right here. And that's what's actually keeping this on there. Hey, we could strap the trailer down. That is definitely good. You're going to need to be able to do that, especially after buying it. But it looks like the trailer does not come off automatically. But it is nice to see that you can do that. Should be able to use this with other pieces of equipment too, if you wish. One side note, even in the uh, store menu, these are showing up as two different things. So the trailer and the truck are showing up as completely different items. Next up, we got something really cool for you. This is the Lizard Rake 
8.5 ilm is suitable for large fields or whatever you want doesn't really matter everything's suitable for whatever in the back of the machine there's an attacher so that you can attach a baler to it you can also attach anything that takes a trailer hitch and has pto you could hook it all up doesn't matter it is meant for balers but you could do this with loading wagons or whatever you wish use your imagination because it has a trailer hitch you can also hook up a um, front lifter to this as well make that a three point if you so desire um, you could do two things at once three things at once whatever whatever you can figure out at the end of the day this is meant for doing bales and doing wind rowing all at the same time you've got all the colors rim color everything so we do get a uh, base game gray i believe is what that is oh no that is Rim color, this is, oh, so rim color is, oh, I'm on, I'm on body color, oops. So we've got all kinds of stuff through here. Your rim colors are literally whatever. Let's go with the John Deere here, main color through there, and we'll go John Deere green. So you can do John Deere, New Holland case, whatever, or just make your own color combination. You'd be good to go. If we pop in here, I've got it around here somewhere. All you gotta do is hook up to it, unfold it, and it will unfold, and then you just simply hook up a baler or whatever to the back. You see the PTO is attached. You can see our trailer hitch is attached. And then you just go. That's it. Lower it down and then find yourself some swaths or whatever that you want to merge together. And you are good. It's very cool. Very, very, very cool. It does have a 12 mile per hour working speed. So something to keep in mind there. Next up from Simul Agri Modding, we have the Dan Gravel Polydrac Plus 418A. This is a new tipper trailer for everybody. Let's take a look at it because this thing is pretty darn cool. So we have the 11,100 liter capacity, main color. We have orange, black, and green. Do like that orange. Stick with that capacity. We change that up to a 20,700 liter capacity, which is pretty darn cool. Wheel brands. We have a trailer board. Michelin, back and forth between those. Box, without box, with box. First box, box is usually up here, and it is right there. Simulagri is known for making some very, very highly detailed mods, and this trailer right here is no different. If the name rings a bell, these are the same guys that brought you the Roland trailer pack, and this, <laughs> This is the detail on this is absolutely incredible, man. Next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Pottinger Novacat 306F. This is a front mower. It's well suited for small to medium sized farms and or equipment, 60 horsepower. You can also use this on the rear as all mowers in game. will mow forwards and backwards, which is very, very nice. 60 horsepower, three meters, 13 miles per hour. Main color, we've got a few things here. So we have the yellow rubber new, yellow plastic new. We also have yellow rubber old, and yellow plastic old so you can give your mower a older look or keep it nice and new you also see there it kind of moves around a little bit yeah so these things move around which is very very nice see and then the pto we have the yellow we have a black as well so you can change up the pto the pto will sit off to the side until you hook up next we have the kbm 10.8 ps this is designed for high quality preparation of your soil for sowing precision crops or precise crops at the end of the day it's cultivator 200 horsepower 10.8 meters nine miles per hour color selection we got blue we have dark blue or blue it's not really dark blue but that's steel or cyan something like that this would be dark blue regardless <laughs> i'm opinionated this morning i need to hush but regardless this is an absolutely beautiful or uh, cultivator check it out man low wow yeah low horsepower for how big it is as well it's gonna come in handy next up we have the crookway z437 this is going to be a potato harvester of sorts what it does is it doesn't actually harvest the potatoes it picks the potatoes off the ground so if you've got a harvester similar to this one that uh, pulls the potatoes out of the ground and puts them on the top of the ground well that is going to be what this will do behind that it will pick them off the ground and lift them high into the air ready to be deposited into a uh, tipper or whatever you've got there it's only going to hold 500 liters so you will need to basically run this 100 percent of the time beside your potato or beside your tipper anything like that so 50 or 500 liters 42 horsepower required six miles per hour max working speed we do have some color options here main color we've got red red old we've also got blue blue all kinds of blue stuff through here has the uh, blue differ that's yeah, a little bit of an old and we've got a green in there as well design color got all kinds of stuff through here i believe this is going to be some new stuff at the top maybe pto yeah 
you can see right here, it's going to be changing these parts right here. We'll change that back to yellow so you can see. All right, looks good. And the design we have with this, with stickers and without stickers. So you could go with that Kruko 8 logo or not on the side. Next is the Robert F2800. This grass is chopped. This is a mower at the end of the day. However, it is a chopper. What it will do is just make the grass disappear. So that's what you want to do. If you want grass to just completely disappear, this is going to be the piece of equipment for you. 75 horsepower, 2.8 meters at eight miles per hour, $7,200. Something very similar, but something that does make a swath is the Lizard RC mower. This is going to cost you $1,200 or $1,000, depending on if you go with a new or a used one. So that is really neat that that gives you the option. I love that right there. 50 horsepower, two meters, at 13 miles per hour. Next, you've got the platform. This is to carry small things. It has four optional models between flat, forestry, box, or animal cage. That's pretty cool. You've got all that going on right there. Main color, all the colors under the rainbow. So you can pick whatever you would like so that it will fit whatever you are doing. Now, with this, it'll hold two pigs or two sheep, nothing else, not gonna hold cows or anything like that, and does require 35 horsepower, at least as recommended, you can probably get away with just about anything. Has a 2.8 meter working width, though I don't know how that's really gonna help you, as none of this <laughs> is gonna be doing, maybe the forestry one will help you out just a little bit, something like that. Regardless, I think this is a really neat piece of equipment, and I like the fact that it's got different things added on there. It does have straps as well. Next new mod for all platforms today is gonna to be the placeable filling stations. These are for your farm. You've got all kinds of stuff. You've got seed, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, lime, forage, which is going to be, I think, TMR? Let's take a look at that, maybe it's silage. You've also got pig food as well. Let's, let's test the forage version. We'll go through there. We'll grab a truck, just something nice and easy very quickly. This is a great one. That'll work perfect for us. Let's grab this over here and let's take a look and see what exactly we could do with this. Let's find our tip. So start filling. TMR. Absolutely. Uh, we should probably pull under that, huh? So you don't actually need to pull under it, which is very nice. However, it's probably recommended that you do so because it's actually going to look correct. So... We got TMR, that was cheap, man. Yo, that was, that was stupid cheap. Hold up, how expensive is this? Cause that was, that was real cheap. Let's pull back under here real quick. So we've got an 11,000 liter capacity in here, right? So we fill up with, let's see, seven, eight, nine, boom, we'll stop it about right there. It's like $200 per thousand. What is that 20 bucks per thousand liters for TMR? That's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> forget trying to mow. Just buy that. In a similar fashion, next we have the All the Shops bundle. This is by Edge Gaming, creators of the Buy Anything and Sell Anything station, or the multi filling and multi selling station. This comes with tons. So you have the all in one station. So this is going to be literally everything that you would want to buy from places like this. Chicken food, digestate, herbicide, if you want to buy digestate, go for it. Horse food, lime buying station, liquid fertilizer, manure, pig food, salt, seeds, sheep food buying station, slurry, solid fertilizer buying station, TMR, water, you got all that. Let's put TMR down here because I'm curious how this would be. Let's go ahead and go through and empty this bad boy. There we go. And we'll pull right in front of the TMR and we'll see kind of what our price difference is since we've got two mods that kind of do the same thing. Well, why don't we compare them? Let's fill up. Uh, this seems to be going down at a similar-ish rate. It's not filling up even half as fast. That is, that is taking a good little while. And that cost us about $508. So uh, roughly twice as expensive, maybe a little bit more, still absolutely ridiculous how cheap that is but you've got all that but don't forget you've got literally all of them you could place one station down and now just off of this one station 
you can buy anything and everything. That's pretty cool. Next up, we have Bertus Imbus Station. This stall is for French fries and sausages. You can pick up the Imbus objects in the front. The shutter can be closed when you go to the right side and click. The standing table can be moved after placing. At the selling station, you can sell potatoes, sunflowers, and water if implemented on the map with many more fruit types that can fill for an Imbus booth. The Imbus stall selling station is going to cost you a thousand bucks, very cheap. The passive income station will cost you thirty th or three thousand dollars, with sixty in easy, forty in normal, and twenty in hard mode per hour. And the Imbus stall as a decorative object is two hundred euros, and the standing table is fifty euros. And we've got a similar story here with the Christmas market toys. You've got different things here. You can sell things uh, or take things from here as well. You can sell wood at this station. It's going to cost you one thousand dollars as a selling station passive income will be three thousand dollars with 60 40 and 20 per hour depending on your difficulty and 200 for the decorative object next to mod for all platforms is the hydraulic bollards this hydraulic bollard system with two through six different ballers prices vary between seventy five hundred and twenty six thousand dollars daily maintenance price is between three and eighteen bucks each at night the bollards are equipped with an led ring that will be illuminated automatically so you do not need that bollards can be controlled manually or within the animated object tool so you are able to control these raise them lower them put them wherever you want to however you like these can be used seasons geo middle saxony climate saxony is mild and temperate the average temperature is about seven to three degrees celsius 45 degrees fahrenheit uh there's 660 millimeters of precipitation per year Weather station is located in the University Town of Saxony. Don't even know how to say it. Uh, 40 kilometers west of Dresden. Please use the latest seasons mod that was released about a week ago, and you will be good to go. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. Today we have Wither Farms by Missy B. This is going to be version 1.1. Added model trailer, the KS950 terrain has been fixed, tip collision has been fixed, gates have been added to the hedge, and fence posts, so they will now disappear when the fence posts are removed. Change the name of the shop, where the vehicle spawned to store, now able to use placeables, fix the traffic issues, general tidying up of the fields and trees. Now, there is a trigger that has been placed on the map that will allow the removal of all hedges and fence lines and removed all field gates. With this update, you do have the option to continue your current game save. However, due to the changes on field 16 and field 1 with the raised ground, it is recommended that you start a new game save. And your second and only other mod update for all platforms today is going to be the Bureau Series 6 Edition by Shaba. This is going to be version 1.2.5. Remove the Midas wheels and various minor adjustments have been made to the mod. Making our way into mod updates for console only. We do have one mod for you guys today. This is going to be version number two for the Pottinger Toro Combi line. This is 22.5 inch tires have been removed. Glitching tires through the mud guard has been fixed. Lizard flotation track tires have been added. New rims and hubs. Fix the decal errors on the alpha bending and the AO mistakes and flickering i also got new new dirt and used textures pottinger colors globally have been adjusted new fill volume pto position corrected the rope apart has been now blended out on the 6510 fix the invisible on off a turnable cover add a 3d animated crossover conveyor belt when chopping all three forge wagons should be able to fill to 100 now and They've added missing gear wheel animations for the scraper floor, added a silage objective tank configuration, and renewed the store icon and mod icon. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First up, we have the new map, Upper Bavaria. This is going to be a new map for PC and Mac players. Say globalization does not stop at the heart of Bavaria either. Even further seeking producer prices, and on the other hand, rising land prices have hit the region hard. Some farms in the area are close to bankruptcy or or have their hire. Do you have what it takes to manage all of these or several of these to get them back in the running? Well, here you go. I will tell you, you can only use Global Company with this. As you know, I don't use Global Company, so we get some pictures, nice pretty pictures of this map. Secondly, we have Rasvet. This is another new map for PC and Mac players today. 15 fields, 12 points of sale, which seems a little bit one-sided. Installed cows and pigs, BGA established production of uh, compound feed and things like that. So you got a fish farm, sugar factory, meat processing plant, etc., etc., etc. You've also got clover, alfalfa, 
and those have been added to the animal feed and process seasons ready and they've added dynamic dirt next up new from pixel farm we have the mezzo medic 75 and 95 now we already had the 95 but this is a new pack that includes the 75 and 95 together so you can just pop that out of the way and you are good to go so now we have the 60 75 and 95 very very exciting through there so let's take a look at the 75 not the 95 52,000 liter absolutely crazy we have the ride strike with the bkt in the bkt we got a couple different versions in here for you depending on your taste the lgf we have no and yes i have no idea what the lgf is there we go we got it on the back right there and then the side markers no and yes we even have top position lightings no and yes you want these middle and bottom add them all even the work lights absolutely get those in there that way you can see exactly what you're doing and the attacher on the back yes so you can hook a bunch of these trailers together absolutely and then you're going to see some very very similar stuff right here with the MetaQ 95 silage trailer now these are silage trailers do keep that in mind so these are not going to be bulk nothing like that 66,000 liters which is incredible wheel brand we have ride Stein, bkt and here we have those different tire options that you can choose from we have the uh, um yep the lg uh f in the back side markers yes you want them oh yeah top position lights middle yes yes you're gonna light this thing up like it's christmas baby working lights obviously and then the attacher even on the back you could add that as well insane trailer next new mod for pc and mac players we have the agro lift kush this double cultivator polish brand agro lift 120 horsepower required five meter working width and nine miles per hour back roller we have the tubular roller tubular dude sorry had to pack a roller <laughs> back and forth design we have without rack and with the rack in the front you can even add wheels or whichever one of those you like and warning signs no or yes next up we have the john deere 6030 series this is going to cost you ninety thousand dollars you may sell yourself dj don't we already have a 6030 we do this is different this is an older tractor 120 horsepower 250 liters fuel 24 miles per hour configuration standard 360 560 760 and 10 10 kilogram front weight plus you even have a front hydraulic which is very nice wheel brands we have trailborg minus michelin nokian in trailborg we have a standard wheel weight wide tire wides with weights narrows rear twins twins all the way around back to standard in midas we have a standard and a wide tire and a michelin we just have a wide tire nokian is just your standard communal tire right through there design we have a standard left beacon right beacon all together extra lights nowhere yes so that's gonna add extra lights onto the front then we get extra lights on the back give me some extra lights negative front loader attacher we have yes we even have yes with a bonnet cover so that is neat sometimes you don't get the option between those two things very cool to see that right there engine setup we have the 6530 which is going to be 120 horsepower even have 130 140 and 155 horsepower engine starfire 6000 receiver yes or no and that is it that is your john deere 6030 series and your last new mod for pc and mac players day is a game changer this is the map objects hider have you ever felt like you can't join two fields because of a rock that's right in the middle of them or you can't build a shed because some objects take that place up well no longer will this be a problem thanks to the map objects hider mod by duke of modding uh, they always have different names i love it this mod will let you permanently remove decorative objects and placeable items on your map basically changing everything and craziness this is this is a game changer like humongo game changer it says be careful not all object types can be removed if you change the hierarchy of objects on the map for example by making changes to the giants editor some objects may reappear and will have to be removed again not a big issue but if a mod map has not been built correctly removing some trees may cause problems so do keep this in mind before doing anything obviously save a game before doing any big changes like this but give it a try check it out i dig this our last grouping today making our way into mod updates for pc and mac players we start off with the umc 6kl this is going to be version 1.001 added two new colors orange and blue new configuration parts for the control levers and conditioning you also have new sounds fixed mirrors fixing narrow wheels and minor fixes and improvements we've got an update to the command 65 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 7 
I don't even know. <laughs> My brain hurts. Version 1.1 1. 1 added the truck command 65 1111111117 grain carrier. Capacity 33,000 liters. You can see it right here. We've got an update to the Flegel Timber Runner wide with auto load for wood. This is going to be version number 1.1. 1. 1. Fix the conflict with the vehicle strap mod, improve the stability of the trailers, fix an issue when not all logs are unloaded from trailer, and count and total mass of logging or loaded logs are now displayed in the F1 menu. We got an update to the global company Mace Plus Bulk Haul. This is going to be version 1.001. The wrong fill planes has been fixed. And an update to bulk buy. This is going to be version 1.0.1. Prevent the configuration missing warning when loading a save game that no longer uses this mod. And your last mod today, we've got an update to the advanced stats. This is going to be version number two. Completely rewritten code base to prevent conflicts with other mods and future base game changes. Improved performance. Improve the multiplayer sync. Fix some stats that showed the wrong values. Fix some stats that showed the wrong descriptions. And removed some redundant stats. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, join the GoHam fam, make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.